Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be talking about the structure and function of the kidneys. Now, each kidney weighs approximately 160 grams and measures 11 centimeters long and approximately 5 to 7 centimeters wide. We can see from this image here the approximate location of the kidneys. We have two of them and they were located on either side of the vertebral column and they lie below the diaphragm and the liver. In the case of the right kidney, it's below the liver here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip this part and come back to this little statement here, but we're gonna move on to the functions of the kidney. So the primary function is the regulation of extracellular fluid, plasma, and interstitial fluid. Okay, so that's the primary function of the kidney, to regulate the extracellular fluid. And that extracellular extracellular fluid is plasma and interstitial fluid and this is the fluid around the cells and this is done by the formation of urine which is a modified filtrate of plasma so when we have the the filtration of plasma eventually we get urine production so other functions of the kidneys regulate the volume of plasma which also relates to blood pressure regulate the concentration of waste products in the plasma regulation of the concentration of electrolytes, so sodium ions, potassium, carbon, carbonate ions as well in the plasma, and finally regulation of the pH of plasma as well. Now, let's look at the structure of the kidneys and then we can talk about its function finally just to summarize the video. So, we can see here's a cross section of the kidneys. You can see how it's um, got the cortex on the outside, the medulla, then it drains into the renal pelvis, the ureter, and then eventually, you can't see in the diagram, but we'll have the urinary bladder. So the paired kidneys lie on either side of the vertebral column. They lie below the diaphragm and liver. Urine, which is made in the kidneys, is drained into a cavity called the renal pelvis, which is this region here. And then the urine is then channeled from the renal pelvis to the urinary bladder via two long ducts called ureters. Okay, so this is one of the ureters here. Now, the kidney has two main regions, the outer cortex and the medulla. Here you can see the outer cortex or the renal cortex. And here you can see the renal medulla, which is this region here. So here's the, the cortex on the outside. And this region here is the medulla. Okay, so the outer cortex is reddish brown and granular because there is a high number of capillaries and the medulla is striped due to presence of tubules and blood vessels. Now, we can divide the kidney into a variety of different cavities. So we have um, each pyramid which projects into a small depression called the minor calyx. Here are the renal pyramids. Here's, here are the renal columns and they form these minor calyx here, calluses here. And remember, these minor calluses form the major calyx. Here's a major calyx, here's a major calyx here here and they all form a funnel known as the renal pelvis and what the renal pelvis does as we've just mentioned it collects the urine produced from the filtrate the modified filter of plasma collects this urine and transports it to the urinary bladder via the ureter okay now and let's move back onto this part here so each kidney contains many tiny tubules that empty into a cavity drained by the ureter that makes sense we've seen that here so remember the tubules drain into the renal pelvis and into the ureter now each of the tubules receives a blood filter from the capillary bed called a glomerulus now you can't see it in this image here because we require a very microscopic image of a nephron but a glomerulus imagine we have the blood coming from the arteries or to be specific, the afferent arteriole, it's going to drain into this capillary bed, which is called the glomerulus. And once it drains through that, it's going to form this filtrate. And the filtrate's going to pass through the tubules. And once there's some modifications there, it's going to drain into the renal pelvis eventually. And finally, the filtrate is modified as it passes through the different regions of the kidney or of the tubule, and it finally forms urine. Finally, the ureter undergoes peristalsis contractions, so there is a pacemaker located in the renal calluses and the pelvis, which contains smooth muscle, and the calluses and pelvis also undergo rhythmic contractions, which may aid in emptying of urine from the kidney. 
Okay, so I think that's everything in this video relating to the structure and function of the kidneys. The next video will be talking about the renal blood supply. So